You're watching The Liz Money Show. I'm the president of Edo Moroko of Jishalan History Chapter and I'm also the chairman of the National Council of Edo Moroko of Jishalan, North America. We have Atlanta Chapter, we have Dallas Chapter, we have uh, Chicago Chapter, we also have History Chapter. One of the things I'd like to emphasize tonight is to thank the governor of Washington State Honorable Raul Arabesola for all the work he's been doing in promoting peace in Russian state. We, as a group of organizations in the United States, are aware of the activities that are going on back home in Russian state. We are also aware of all the work the governor has been doing in terms of making sure that he provides necessary equipment for the sanitation activities that needs to be taken care of in Russian state. We are also aware of the provision of good health care for our people. We are also aware of the stable electricity supply for our people. Hi right, everybody, I'm here in uh, Oshun State. Oh, did I tell you by the way, my mother actually happens to come from Oshun. And I came all the way from Texas because I have to come here to this state to see all the good things that our governor, Governor Raul, Arakweshola, is doing for our people. You know? When you see people like him doing things like this, you have to appreciate. You have to let them know that you do appreciate. So many things that he's doing, and I'm here, I'm here with my homegirl here. My, by the way, I'm Elizabeth Amani. They call me Liz Mani from Texas. And I'm here with this beautiful lady right here. Oh my God, my name is Daryl Adek for Canada, African Heritage Media. That's what's up. That's who we're representing today. So this program, as she said, is brought to you by Africa Heritage Media in collaboration with the Liz Money Show. So we're here to just talk to to let you guys know that good things are happening here. First of all, we are here in front of the new project that is going on. So this is the Millennium Project, the Millennium Development Goals. And you want to know why they're calling it goals? Because they have something right here. They are trying to reach the people. Because people say that children, our children, are the future of tomorrow. So we have to lay the foundation, which is one of the project right here, is education. And we want to, first of all, before we take you in there, we want to thank the governor, Governor Raul Areboshola, for doing this for the children. It's very, very important. So we're just gonna, you know, take you in there. When I got into Oshu, my, if I can remember correctly, the last time that I was in Oshu was when I was about 11 years old or so. Oh my God, that my, should be a very long time ago. I'm telling you, my, 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 my mom lost um, her mom, and we had to come to bury her. So, and, and as I can remember, the only thing I remember was the house that I woke up from. I, I can't remember how I got okay. there. What, so you can imagine how I feel right now, coming back at this age, coming back into the States. When I got into the States, I can see that when we were entering the States, the way you were excited. I was so excited. I was like, oh my God, this is crazy. This is Liz Money all the way from Texas coming to Washoe State, my mom's state. You know, it's, it's a beautiful thing. And, and one thing I have to applaud um, the governor also for taking care of is the is the is the good road. Yes. 
It's yeah. good. It can be better, but it's still good. Excuse me, you need to say something. What? The state is very clean. It's very clean. If you are in Lagos, if you are in Calabar, anywhere you are, come visit or should stay. You have to. You know why? Because when you get here, you can't even see one dead, dead no, on the floor. I'm not saying that. There's still no day for floor. No, I'm not no, it's not there. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you guys see the new project. Just, just take a look at the new project. Wow. This is nice. This is nice. Governor Rauf Aregbeshola. You can see this is the hall and um, it's still ongoing and it's very nice. I have to tell you by the time they are done, they spawn, they spawn. Remember when I was in high school, there was no fun. <laughs> I wish I could go back to my high school right now. I mean, look at the fun now. Look at everything. You know, it's very nice. The building is safe. You know, not, nothing, no, no issue of the building is going to fall anytime soon, by the way. And we don't hope for that in Jesus' name. So, and um, also, I want to show you the classroom. We don't have chairs yet, but I know that we do have the board, which is the important thing. Tiles. You know, egg are coming. It's not like we open door, this door down, that door down, and you know, something else. The board is there already as well. Marker as well, meaning, you know, I mean, if the chairs are not there, this right here tells you that this man is not joking. He's serious. The board is there already. Classroom can even resume without chairs. I'm sure they can. <laughs> but it's going to be here soon. So and I heard it's, it's free education for government school. You know when you put your money towards good things, you can see. We can see. You can see we that. Can see when we can see, we can appreciate. Yes. Then we can know that you are putting the money towards something good. Yes. And we say, Sean, sir. Yeah, let me to you, sir. Sure, sir. <laughs> You're doing your job. You're doing your job. So hopefully by the time this place, um, they're going to open this place. Hopefully we, get, hopefully we can come back. Okay, that's our beautiful sister, by the way. She's also on the tour with us. And um, she, she, she's the one actually taking us around to let us know where this place, this places are. To showing us the good things. What's your name, by the way, man? Ooh, I came a little minute. Hey, Sinemo. If you want to come in here and tour and look at the beautiful, beautiful things, like this is just one of them, but we're going to take you around. But if you want to come in and you're getting lost, just ask around. They, have, they are nice people. They're very, very beautiful people. I remember when I was in primary school. In, I, was, I went to military primary school in yeah. Lagos. Chomolu, Lagos. Okay. Abia, Oh my god, you go don't, see this bitch. <laughs> I still remember the way things were. Do you understand what I'm saying back then? And I and that that really melts my heart when I see the governor actually doing something, something like this. The grassroots. Free food. Right. So kids go home, they don't have food. They, when they leave home, they don't have food to eat. They still come, you know, and learn. So I really this appreciate what you're doing, students. sir. The, 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 the Beautiful. If you're thinking about moving to Oshun, I'm gonna tell you do that ah, so we are still continuing our journey in Oshu state still along that street a little other street yes 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 and right now to you bringing to you we are talking about uh, one of the new developments in actually the in the state so this is coming from architect we should know the gate they are talking about yeah the sort of the old sage oh okay 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 I see I see I see I see oh, this is Sarah of Wow, this girl is. Oh my oh, god, yeah. she knows it all. What are trying to do here? Because I see that there are lots of houses here that they're trying to block, um, yeah, you know, divide okay, from them. Okay, these are private residents. I mean, people's houses. But the, the houses, I feel maybe they feel that this road is a major road in the state. Yeah. Okay. So they're trying to partition it from the main road. Yeah. Probably to prevent accidents, you know, oh, and unification. Wow. Okay. So I think that's. Actually brought up something like this. Okay. Like that, we can see there's a drainage behind this wall. Oh wow, really? So because I think there's some years back yeah. they had a problem with flood. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah flood flood is not flood is not a good thing. Flood is not a good thing. You know, you know flood when houses sink and cars sink and people sink. If you don't know how to swim. So before this this man So the drainage they're doing right now. Um, the village is going to take the water down to the Haleku water, the, 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 the popular Haleku water street. It's mm. just down there. When we were coming, we saw yeah, it. We saw it. We saw it. There's a the tractor it. working there trying to clear the yeah. drainage. Yeah. So that when the flood comes, the flood is going to go through. Mm. So, so, really.
Actually, as you can see, they do. He, he does care about the people. Uh, sir Muiwa, I can say Muiwa again. I just want to give you an applaud. I want to tell you that what you're doing for the people is very, very good. The drainage and also the gate that you're doing to divide, you know, people's house from the road, you know, in order to reduce accidents or incidents or things like that. And, and for beautification. And they have businesses down here too. It's not only houses. I see that some people are doing some business along the line. And you see children. So we don't want children running from the house to the street thinking, where is my mother? Where is my no, mother? We don't no, want that. We don't want that. So that, you know, yeah. There's a prevention. Yeah, now. yeah, yeah. So we thank you for that. So we're, right now we're going to go to the next one and um, hope you guys are still following us. This is Oshu State, by the way. The state of integrity. It be let on My Yoruba is still good. Oh, don't try me. I'm still here in uh, Oshu State and I... I wanted to come by the railway station to see what's going on down here. Like I said, this program is not a tour of Oshu State. This is uh, to tell you about the new development of things that are going on, the progress that's going on in Oshu State. And I have here with me uh, somebody that you need to hear from. He's going to explain everything to you, what's going on down here and the good works that they are doing and what you need to come see. I have engineer K.A. Salami. How are you doing today, sir? Fine, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you very much. And he was so warming and welcoming when we came in. He accepted us, and I really do want to thank you for your time because I know that you're a very, very busy person. So, if you don't mind, sir, can you tell us a little bit about the new development that's going on in this area and what is your goal that you're trying to achieve? Thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay, thank you, sir. Uh, this is one of the yeah. projects being uh, introduced by Obeni as part of the development for the state of us. When he came, he promised the good people of us. Mm. There had been MOU with the railway uh, corporation, the mm. railway corporation. Mm. They are giving us about 10 coaches. Okay. I better go straight to the point. Okay. Branded on law with coaches. Okay. The aim of this project is not only beautification, but to improve both the transportation, economic and social aspects of the state. Mm. Translation wise, uh, you could even see a lot of coaches now. Mm. Obeni has restructured the dead railway uh, corporation where we put mm. it. You could see a lot of coaches now uh, from Ido to Ilori. Oh, wow. Down to Kano. Wow. Uh, all those warehouses will soon be demolished. Mm. We are contrasting a lot of warehouse okay. to accommodate goods from uh, uh, our farms. Mm. All the raw material, fresh goods, mm -hmm. will just come down here. Mm. So this place we have mm -hmm. is parking space. Wow. We'll tie the place, there will be electrification, there will be water, and any social something that could be provided here. this whole place is parking? The whole place is wow. parking. Wow. So everybody coming. Nice. To purchase, the, I mean, to bring their funds from yes. the, uh, I mean, goods from the farm. Yes. We just take it down and put it in the warehouse there. Wow. We are providing very fine uh, and stable uh, flyover there mm. for anybody. So we don't want them to be crossing the road. Mm. You can easily transport your material, mm. pack your vehicle into the warehouse. Mm. Any amount they sell finished product in Lagos, so this is a matter. Good people of Oshun will be buying them in the here. Okay. So when coaches bring them down, mm -hmm. transport free, mm -hmm. they keep them in the warehouse. Mm -hmm. So any animal, yeah. fire or yeah. gems will just come, pack it up, <laughs> right. cross down, buy the material right. and go away. Wow. Just fight for that. I mean, first product from Orile uh, Owo, Akinyele, Owo, Papa Papa. Then they are transport mm -hmm. free. Then uh, bomb fitters, so the cost price too. Mm, you can easily okay. come, pack your vehicle, mm -hmm. you know, and take it down. Mm -hmm. That in terms of uh, economy, finance, okay. okay. transport wise, if you don't want to take your vehicle, mm -hmm. then to Lagos, yeah. you will any place. You can pack your vehicle here, join train, get my point. Yeah. It will take you down. Hmm. Everything. This one and, everything. and there is security, by the security. way. Your car is going to be secure. Or car is secure. going to be secure. Everything. Taxi, anything you bring is going to be secure. So you don't have you don't have no to worry fear. about it. Mm. 
Okay. You come down from your award train okay. or you've had a trip, okay. take your vehicle and okay. go away. Okay. That transport. Social okay. aspect. Okay. You come down, you want to see how beautiful Oshogo is. Okay. There are a lot of green area. Maybe come so late, okay. you just stay. Okay. You can walk down to Olaya. Okay. Any time of the day. That's Maybe good. 3 a.m. That's good. There'll be light. That's good. LED, no special light we are mm. trying to provide. You can see we have lift cables okay. everywhere. Water services, mm -hmm. uh, toilet, everything, no problem. This is so good. you see a lot of people checking down to Olaya without fear. This is a, the, you know what, this, this is a good plan. Tell me a little bit about the ambulance that I'm seeing here, because I'm seeing the, the, the ambulance vehicle here. Can you tell me what, what your plan is for, about yes. that? This is just one of the locations. Yeah. Ambulance, there is all ambulance. Okay. No, there is all rip. Oh, something. Oh, yeah. me, 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 This all oh, old school. Mm -hmm. Oh, ambulance. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. yes. They said it was, oh, yes. Okay. Hey, oh, clean. They are doing that today, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, ambulance, all of them. Shake mm -hmm. my point. Yes. You guys have an accident or anything around this area. Yeah. You can say, hey, I told the way they have a box there, mm -hmm. stationed in the railway station. That's good. Just give a call. They come down to you immediately for That's rescue. Good. Or immediate, uh, Please attention tell to them, people. tell it to the camera, tell people what that ambulance Hi. can do for them. Obeni, uh, Allah no me kunu, the way they call him, is here just to save people's life. If there's any problem, just quickly call their number. Uh, there's a location here, they'll just come if there's accident or anything. They will come to their rescue and give them first aid. Hmm. It's more than they can easily take them to Lautech or any other neighbor. Thank Rachel. you. Thank you. That's the purpose of Thank this Thank you one. very much. There's a flyover about to be completed there. That okay. will be the first flyover wow. in also State. Very nice. We don't want people to be crossing the road. Very nice. They can easily cross down to MDS. Very nice. Very nice. Very Engineer K.A. Salami, I really do appreciate your it's time. Thank you so much for giving us Thank that time. And you heard him. You heard it all. If you need more information, you can always come here. Walk around. They're nice people, like I said. They'll be more than happy to explain more to you. Sure. You're watching African Heritage media in collaboration with the Liz Money Show. Keep watching, we'll be right back. I'm here in Oroki Market in Oshu State and um, the reason why I'm here right now is to talk to one of the um, one of the mamas here uh, so that they can tell us what the governor has been doing for them and as well tell us if there's any other thing that they want the governor to do more in order to make their stay here uh, more safe and more convenient and comfortable. So let's find the one person that is very important to this market again. You know, literally just tell us what we're looking for. So, There's one more thing that I need to ask. Emma I or a conscious be to Kini <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, so I'm actually right here. We've been driving around and we're try, you know, trying to look at the good things that the governor is doing. And one of the things that I noticed, I saw like buses just driving around and people wearing, you know, same uniform, the color of black, green, and yellow. And I really think it's a beautiful thing. Now, the reason why I'm here today, because I'm going to talk to um, somebody who is very, very important, important um, when it comes to this project. This project is, there was Oakland before, but now they just introduced a new one, which is Oakland Plus. Okay, so now, but um, Prince Fatusi Abiodun is going to be the one to tell me a little bit more about the project and, and what are they trying to achieve uh, with the project. How are you doing today, sir? I'm fine, man. All right, thank you very much. And I want to thank you for giving me time because I know you're a very, very busy person. So if you don't mind, tell me about the goal, what you're trying to achieve with this um, Oakland class that you just launched. Okay, I, I still remember the fact that I'm the special stand of the governor on enforcement on the waste my men and environmental sanitation in the state of Oshun. Well, the Oakland class, before the, uh, the this uh, laudable launching program of the governor of the state, the rest of the general for the Sojare Beshola, today, uh, the, the special advisor to the governor on environment uh, the, and the sanitation in the state, the rest of the Bola Ilori, came up with uh, 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 this initiative of Oakland. The Oakland is, is all about uh, uh, coming up with the stakeholders in the state of Oshun, talking about the markets, women, the members of the National Union of Road Transport Workers, the Ritians, the, the, the I mean, the community leaders, mm. and it, 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 it involved a lot of stakeholders in the state mm. to come and deliberate on the, the way forward, mm. how we can manage an environment mm. and to improve on the, uh, on, on the, on the good and it's, it's a good standard environmental uh, uh, environment mm. or to have a, an enabling environment mm. where we can live hygienically and even have a good uh, understanding about how to improve the environment. Mm. So this uh, initiated now, after two years of this program, mm -hmm. They, 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 they embarked on a, a 90 days uh, environmental sanitation emergency day mm. that they came up with uh, uh, this uh, bi-monthly sanitation where they do the sanitation twice okay. in a month. Okay. The, fo the, the, first two, the first Saturday of the month, I mean the second Saturday of the month and the last Saturday of the month. Mm. So after this 90 days emergency declared by the governor, mm. they came up with another one and they gave an additional three weeks. Mm. So with that, I mean just just to sensitize right. and adv I mean and advocate yeah. for a proper sanitation exercise in the state. Yeah. So after this, I think the Oakland project we are doing today that the government is launching today mm -hmm. is all about a new development in the mm -hmm. state that uh that, 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 that brought about how people can really manage their waste. Okay. And what's what's this Oakland project is talking about is uh the 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 the, the the management of the waste to wealth mm. that we talk about the biogas mm -hmm. conversion of the the, the human waste mm -hmm. to energy right where we can have a gas just to cook in their various places mm -hmm. and you understand that's me? very good and then again talking about the psp the launching of the psp okay. come talking about the private sector okay. to partner with the, with the state government on how to manage their waste yeah so uh, the 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 waste collectors the private uh, with the collector is moving from one area to another, okay, just to to, to, to collect the refuse. That's very good. And uh, the and it has never happened in the history of the world okay. where people can can manage waste in this in 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 in, 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 a, in the lowest form mm. that they are charging hundred naira. Mm. Uh, as in even even the private the, the, the normal private uh, refuse collector in yeah. the state are collecting like one thousand five two thousand from the members of the public. Wow. But I think the, 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 this government has a lot to do for the, the, the people of the state. Wow. And again, we talk about the, the planting of trees, okay. just to at least to, 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 to make sure that we live in a, in a, in a, in a good uh, environment. Yeah. Talking about our health, yeah. you know, the, the, we breathe in the carbon, uh, the oxygen and release okay. the carbon yeah, dioxide. So the, this tree planting of the thing will really assist us to have a good uh, atmosphere. Okay. I think the governor is particular about how to how to how to manage the life of our people in a proper way. We, I mean, so I have to actually commend you. Why? Because when I came into, I was I was saying to the people, at the last time I was here was when I was 11 years old. My mom is from Austria State, and coming back again now, and when I got into through that gate to enter Austria. I felt welcome because everywhere is clean. When I say clean, I mean clean. You can't see any dirt on the floor. 
I mean, that's why I told you that you guys need to come and see what these people are doing here because they are really, really doing a fantastic job. And I just want to, you know, thank you for your time and thank you for explaining to the people. And as you can see, people he is pleading and letting you guys know that, you know, you guys can, you should cooperate with whatever, you know, they bring out. And I do want to thank the governor also for, you know, coming up with the Oakland bus. Thank you so much for your time. You guys stay tuned. We'll be right back. You're watching this mining show. This is collaboration with African Heritage Media. Hello and welcome to this episode. Um, this program is The Liz Money Show, collaboration with African Heritage Media. My name is Elizabeth Amani and I'm live here um, in Ocean State. Um, we've been going all around and showing the wonderful things that the governor, Ralph um, Arigashola, has been doing in the States. And um, I'm here, I'm honored to have him sitting beside me. And we're gonna have, ask him some questions and um, he's gonna grace us with his presence by giving us, you know, quick answers. How are you doing this evening, sir? Very fine. Okay, thank you very much. Um, my first question to you, I'm gonna go straight to the point. Um, so far, we've seen your, um, your good work, your handwork um, in everything that is happening in Oxford State. But there seems to be one thing that I really still am not clear about because your opposition party, they've been saying really nasty things about you. Maybe they're not happy with what's going on. It's like they're not really appreciative uh, about all the works that you've done. Why do you think it's so? Why do you think they're not even trying to appreciate everything that you've been doing? Desperation. Okay. When you want a thing badly and you're not in it, you get desperate. You are desperate, it's normal, you will not be, you will be abnormal. It's normal to be abnormal when you are desperate. In one of the Shakespeare's book, he mentioned about midsummer madness. So let us call this the end of uh, spring hallucination. The hallucinating, there's no other way to eat. I mean, if, if I do not want to join issues with them, because they do not deserve any, 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 any response from me. But since you are here, you suspect, I mean, I will want you to be in trap. You are neither with me nor with them or with my son. So uh, it would be nice if you let people know the uh, worth of your own assessment. As far as I'm concerned, they are absolutely because of total inordinate ambition, which has led to absolute desperation. Tell us a little bit about your educational policy. And I took you guys along with the new school that you're building. You saw the building, you saw the new work that he's doing. Um, people say that our children are the future of tomorrow. Well, the elders say children are the future of tomorrow. So I'd like you to please briefly tell me a little about your um, educational policies. We met a deplorable public school environment. What goes for school is uh, it's terrible, it's simply terrible. I, would, I should not use a word that we, that we totally discredit the education, but we met a totally unacceptable physical infrastructure condition. And there was no way we could continue with it. So, instead of our poor finances, we embargo the vigorous capacity building for teachers, and redevelopment of the school environment in basic infrastructure in all our primary schools and secondary schools. As a matter of fact, we restructured basic education to elementary, middle, and high. And what that means is we feed teenagers in grade one to four. We feed good will. If you, have, if you want to have an idea of the quality of food we give, I would like to have, I will give you a small rundown of the quantity of food items 
that the students consume per week. There are 254,000 pupils in our grades one to four, pupils between the age bracket of six and nine. They are the ones in the elementary school. They consume 254 eggs per week, 24,000 eggs per week. We have to slaughter 35 eggs of cattle per week. They consume 15,000 bulls in season. Those with promise to reverse the, the, the losses yeah. of the past yeah. and set us on a course of development, progress, and rapid growth right. so as to cash up right. with the advanced nation right. are these keys. So whatever it is that will make it possible for them okay, take. Yes, mm -hmm. to acquire that learning, mm -hmm. knowledge, mm -hmm. and where we go to give us a head start yes. in our quest mm -hmm. for advancement. Mm -hmm. That's what we are doing. able to achieve so many things within the short period of time and also considering the money that was actually allocated to you by by the government. Federalism is not easy or it's not it's not genuine or federalism that no uh, respect. That's one two it's true that uh, states in our own peculiar federation, depend on allocation. So to that extent, really, it would be, it would be appropriate for one to think, how are we funding our development projects? One, one major factor in our sources in using, in using very, very limited resource to prosecute gigantic developmental programs is our tutelage under arguably the best public finance manager in the person of Ashwaju what I mentioned for a period of seven years really eight years in Lagos. And that exposed us to the possibility of drawing to their maximum limit every couple. And so with that background, it was very easy for me to deploy the experience and the financial engineering acquired from that experience to maximum advantage in the state. Contrary to the wrong opinion of our traditions, we are not borrowing. We are simply deploying a sagacity in management of fund, particularly, to drive our programs and projects. I really would just like you to tell me uh, briefly what what is your goal, Margin ATM? I have my own opportunity to advise the party leader. But the leader of the party, 
are the ones managing, operating, and directing affairs of the country. I have asked one question. Why are we pushing for a more of Nigeria has reached a, cross, a crossroad that breaking through to give that leadership that Nigeria requires is not just coming together to acquire political power, no. It's to give Nigeria the desired leadership and change that will take her out of the morass it is in now. Only a Philistine a Philistine will accept the present position of Nigeria. The, the party that has been in power at the center since 1999 has shown the whole world that is totally incompetent the same thing over and over again. To, to, to save Nigeria. So, patriots who do not want Nigeria to suffer an irretrievable, irredeemable damage. Nigeria needs a huge rescue. If you don't do it quickly, it might be beyond repair. But if we can shelve our little, little differences and, uh, and uh, puritanism yeah. on, uh, on uh, our individual platform, State of Nigeria to come together and give the oligopoly that the PDP has turned itself to a real run for his hegemonic hold on Nigeria. I want to believe that will be the best thing for Nigeria. So it is, it is for. That, that is the rescue of Nigeria, the provision of sound leadership with good program that will ensure there's employment for our youth, that will guarantee diversity, that will motivate and mobilize Nigeria to produce food particularly and such other things that they need rather than depend on your potential. That we look at education and see it as the tool for engaging the people, organizing and preparing them for a better future. A regime that will take issue of security very, very seriously. A regime that knows that in a multi ethnic, multi religious, different civilization, that such country needs a government that is broad and not provincial. It is for this that the effort at forming APC. Center and focus. It's not just for power grab, no. it's to prefer alternatives to the cruelness that PDP represents. I'm glad you just clarified that because most people don't really know the reason why you know you're merging that together. Satisfied with the hopeless trend we are pursuing now, and we believe that we must stop this light and redirect Nigeria 
with the path of blood, which we guarantee for the people good life and freedom. So, Tinubu, but to the best of my knowledge, is a committed patriot who wants the best for Nigeria. He's not a man that is given to prevarication. He will put in his best to ensure that he's there. Desire for Nigeria, mm -hmm. which is good governance. Right. I have, a, I, have a, I have a direct question. Um, with the whole situation going on in Nigeria right now, you know, with Boko Haram um, killing innocent people, yeah. Niger Delta, you know, everything that is it's just total chaos. Do you think President Goodluck Jonathan is competent enough to rule the country if he wants to go for the next time? I will not be personal because it will not be statement like yes. It's not because uh, of anything. Just to create an impression that we not be sovereign. But the truth is, Nigerian state, the Nigerian Federation is poorly managed. And when it is only poorly managed, it's either that the manager of the enterprise is not is not is not competent or he, he lacks the will to direct their fears properly. And for that, it's for that reason that the collective of the patriots are working hard to displace, to displace that leadership which is not giving our country the best management and bring about a new orientation, a new direction, a new organization and management that will make Nigeria great, strong, prosperous, and developed. expecting you in Texas. This is a message I have to pass across to you, sir, personally. They have Egbe Omo Ijesha in Texas. That they ask him, ask the governor, when is it going to come? Because we are entitled to the governor as well. We will see how that request can be programmed along with our period engagements. Okay. But it's nice to know that uh, Ijesha people, who got people, and all people who are very, very committed to the group and of their fatherland are desirous of fellowship with us. I am looking forward to it myself. <laughs> if my program can permit, I, will, I want to be in the world of America. We would not, love not, to host you. <laughs> yes. the, the, the Nigerians there have demonstrated so much passion. Uh, us that uh, it will be out of place to share our experience. Right. Right. So we are welcome. Thank you very much. And I do really want to thank you for your time as well. You've seen Oshun, you've seen the new development, which is the reason why we're here. He's done great things. If you want to come and tour this um, state, you're welcome. They are warming people. They welcome me into the state. And everybody that I've spoken with today, both I went to all Jam Market, I spoke to Yalo there, I went to I went different places and I got so many positive res responses from people. Come, come look at it. And I'm sure you have fun. Thank you for watching the Lee's Money Show. Visit www.youtube.com slash the Lee's Money Show to watch exclusive celebrity interviews. Leave a comment, subscribe, and be the first to get a buzz on new videos. Follow me on Twitter at Lee's Money. Like me on Facebook, www.facebook.com slash the Lee's Money Show. If you need to contact me, send me an email, the Lee's Money Show at gmail.com. Thank you and God bless. See you soon. Ile ile ile